So we had to replant all the corn. And this is about, I don't know, four weeks in now. And we're looking at about 18 inches. 18 inches tall so far. It's looking pretty good. It's nice and green. I put in a lot of um, nitrogen just before I planted it. And it's just about to the point where I'm going to put some Chilean nitrate down on the ground and then hill, hill each one of these rows. And then we'll hopefully get some rain and then it'll get fertilized some more. And the sweet potatoes are doing pretty good. We, um, we lost about, I don't know, 10%. Can see some bare spots out there but for the majority they're all looking really good and these are the georgia jets that we planted so they're doing well and the watermelons um you know we've lost 99 percent of the crop there's a couple in here that are starting to actually grow for the majority of them though they stopped at that stage and didn't do anything. So I've replanted seeds in here. Let's see if they go. Here's some Israeli cantaloupes. Same thing with them, but a few of them are seem to be finally taking off. But like I said, we've lost 90%. There's one. Here's a couple. just they don't do anything but then as you get down to the end of the rows these are started to take off all those little flowers will become a cantaloupe so we should get some cantaloupes out of this at least Probably not enough to really sell. Sad little watermelons compared to last year. 200 watermelon plants. And I think we have about 15 out of all that. Cucumbers are going well. Nice and green. There you go. Gonna keep them on the trellis. Oh shoot. Giant zucchini. Man, you gotta keep up on that stuff. But this pile of who knows what is going completely insane like myself this is a mixture of what we planted which was uh, buttercup squash and butternut squash and then these are all volunteers that just showed up out of the compost i put in here so we can't even get in there every now and then you'll find a guinea hen in there there's a Butternut. I think I saw some buttercup squash that were just about ready. Oh, there they are. There's one. There's another. There's a little guy right there. So the buttercup were very prolific. I've never grown those before. A lot of recipes on the internets about how to grow them. And the peppers have doubled in size since we got some rain and some heat. These are all large green bell peppers, king of the north. Those are serranos. And then these are all jalapenos. 
The wife said, grow me a lot of jalapenos. I want to can them. Colossal jalapenos. And then the zucchinis. Tomatoes. Since we got some rain and some warm weather, they're going ballistic. Um, most of the buds are staying on, and I think that's because our temperatures haven't reached up in the 90s yet. Uh, we will be putting shade cloth over these when it gets really hot. These frames right here, I have two more of these frames I'm going to build. And they're going to go over the tomatoes. We've got lots of Ruby Crush. <clears throat> lots of Ruby Crush in there. Going. And we've got some onions curing in the shop. The ones that survived the freeze. And some garlic. That's a big one right there. Not bad. <clears throat> 